Well, good morning uh, once again, everyone. Welcome back to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. My name's Mark Love, and today it's my great pleasure to bring to you one of our true luxury coaches. Uh, we're gonna talk about the Numar Essex. This is a 4551 model, stock number 5N190600. Now, when I say a true luxury coach, Numar makes three models on the 605 horsepower Cummins, the London Air, the Essex, and the King Air. This is sort of the middle one for that, but it doesn't cut corners anywhere. These are built exclusively on the Spartan K3 chassis, and there's some real differences when you get up to this level in features both inside and out, and also, as we uh, walk around this today, I want to talk a little bit about Numar's slogan. Uh, five simple words, when you know the difference. Now, sometimes slogans don't seem to mean much, but the more I have been with TransWest and selling these Numars, the more I realize it's a culture there. It's not just words. We're gonna start right here with what Numar calls their masterpiece uh, paint finish and it truly is a work of art. Uh, Numar uses BASF paint and when you get to this level the uh, the artists that do these paint jobs are really something to see. Anybody that has the opportunity to go back to Indiana and go to the factory it's well worth it. These are uh, before they're even painted they are prepped with three different cleaners. They are hand sanded, sanded, and they make sure they have a perfect palette to apply the base coat. Once they have the base coat on, they, they uh, mask it out, paint the lines. Each line is cut, razor cut by hand to make sure it is perfect. And then on an Essex, a London Air, and a King Air, there is three coats of clear coat. Many times you walk up to a, a full body paint and you can still feel that decal or that layer of paint underneath. This is like a luxury car finish. Uh, three clear coats, hand wet sanded between each coat and then buffed and polished to a high gloss finish. Numar cuts no corners in their paint job. They do it in-house and I would have to say it is second to none in the RV industry. While we're right here, I'm gonna point out something else about this Essex. Uh, a standard feature on this is a 12.5 uh, generator. And this generator is on a hydraulic slide out tray. So as you can see, a Cummins diesel 12.5 generator Everything you'd need to do as far as checking oil service is right here, easy to access. You can also see there's windshield wiper fluid. You can tap into your water system. You can tap into your uh, air system. And even look at this little detail. Most of these are, if you've got like a nail gun at home, it's a quarter inch uh, fitting. They even include the 3 8 fitting with this. So if you want to use your own hose, you might have to change that fitting out, but it's provided. I'm going to go ahead and run that back in. Again, sometimes it's the little things that they really pay attention to that make a difference. And as we walk around, I'm going to point some of those out to you. Let's go around on the side here. First of all, Get a shot of these awnings. You have one over the door, two Girard Novas that cover the entire coach, motion sensored, so if the wind starts to pick up and they start to bounce too much, they will close on their own. Just a beautiful place to hang out in front of your coach. One of the things that I pointed out several times, and I will again, right here behind this steel plate, is your fuel line. We just had a truck going down I-25 out here 
blow a tire and shred it, and it sounded like a shotgun blast. If that would happen to this tire, and you have a rubber line, you're going to shred that fuel line. Numar protects them with the steel plate. Coming around to this first compartment, and again, these are all standard features. This is a nice refrigerator freezer, but one of the things that you'll find on a lot of coaches, you can't get the lid open all the way. Check that out. You can put your uh, drinks and beer in here. If you want to you know, bring some frozen fish home, you can set it for a freezer. Just a really nice option. The slide just extends the slide out. Yep, the, the, it does. Like I say, most of them, the slide might only come this far, and you can't get the, uh, the lid all the way open. Great feature. Let's move around here. We have three compartments with slide-out trays. Uh, this one, and I'm not going to run it out all the way. This is a little bit narrower than the one we have in the second compartment. And I will run this one out all the way just to show you. So when you have things in the middle of the uh, coach stored, they're hard to access. You can pull them out and get to them quite easily. And then they even provide a shelf up on top. You know, if you have boxes or a cooler, you can't have anything taller than the chassis rails or it's not going to fit in there. So they don't waste that space. They give you another shelf there. Here's one of the other Numar features, and it's really easy to see in this coach, so I want to point it out, called their Star Foundation. This superstructure here, as you can see, ties into your frame rails down to the bottom of the storage compartment supporting the sidewalls, but your floor joists right here are about two inches above those frame rails. As you go down the road and you know hit a big bump or a pothole, that chassis, it can twist and tweak a little bit. With all of the weight, and this is a 54,000 uh, pound chassis, by the way, the tile in there, the residential refrigerators and uh, accessories, you know, any twisting or tweaking of the floor, you're going to start popping tiles. You're going to start having issues. With this star foundation, it makes a sturdy platform for them to build on, to put their floor on, to put all those accessories on. You're not going to get the warping that you will on other coaches. Again, no other uh, manufacturer does this, and it gets back to their slogan, when you know the difference. So many things in a motorhome that you see are on the surface. The paint job, the furniture, the cabinetry, but some of the things that are really important are things you can't see unless you take your time to look. Like I say, the, the protected fuel line, the star foundation, the full pullout for your freezer. Those are little things that other manufacturers might neglect. Let's move on down. Here we have another. This one's a manual tray, and it's not as deep because we've got your uh, Oasis system behind there. But again, it gives you lots of storage. A lot of your components out here. Uh, for your camera system, slide outs, electronics, easy to get to. And you also have a central vac inside. You can bring your hose out, plug it in here, turn it on, and clean out your storage compartments. What was that? Todd just poked his head in. Um, TV here, this does pull out and uh, tilt a little bit. It's got a nice Bose. Uh, sound bar with it. Some floor plans will have that TV up in the sidewall, others they can't put it in, but just a great feature. Another thing I like about the compartment doors here, and most of them are barn store style, this one you know opens vertically, heavy duty, well insulated, and the chrome uh, trim on the bottom and the chrome compartment handles really set it off. Just a great looking coach. Uh, got a tag axle here, dual axle on the Spartan. This is a steerable tag axle. It'll tilt 10 degrees as you're uh, turning corners or maneuvering into a tight spot. Uh, you put the, the steerable tag axle, your star foundation,
the Comfort Drive, which is exclusive to Newmar, it makes for a more enjoyable driving experience. Again, when you know the difference, when you see what Newmar does that other companies don't, uh, it really makes it a coach worth looking into at all levels. If you do go back to the factory, one of the interesting things you'll see is they'll be building this coach and their workforce is dedicated. Average employees been there over eight years, many 40-year employees, and you'll see an Essex going down the line with their 16-inch uh, on-center wall framing aluminum studs. Right behind it, you'll see a Baystar Sport, their lowest level gas coach, being built by the same people in the same factory going down the same line. Uh, a lot of companies have one factory for Class C's, another for gas. Their luxury coaches are a different division. Numar does them all the same way. They all get the masterpiece uh, paint. They all get all their diesels, get the star foundation, steerable tags. It's just something you won't see in other coaches. Uh, one of the things I wanted to point out in this compartment, number one, you have your DEF tank, 15 gallons here. This has 150 gallons of fuel. But Star Spartan actually has an emergency suspension uh, fill system. So if you need to air up your bags for some reason, you know, a component's not working, you can do that right here and get yourself down the road if your uh, compressor fails or something. And then over here we have our chassis batteries, the big D batteries, a couple of 150 amp bus fuses, these are your main chassis fuses, also your air dryer, your fuel filter, all right here easy to access. Come around back and this is the power plant. This is a 15 liter 605 horse Cummins diesel and it'll develop uh, between 1950 and 2050 foot-pounds of torque depending on the transmission it's with. This has the Allison 4000. What that basically means when you break it all down, I've got a 54,000 pound chassis but I've got a 74,000 pound gross combined weight. That means I can tow 20,000 pounds with this hitch and it's even got the bigger receiver made for bigger trailers. That can be stepped down. You have your air brake uh, hook up here and then you also have your Voyager. You might have a stacker trailer, run a camera off the back. Uh, you can also get an option to provide 30 amp power to that stacker trailer. Just a great power plant and when you're going down I-70 and you get the Vail Pass and you're pulling 10,000 pounds behind you, you won't have people going by you giving you the finger anymore. You can keep up with traffic with this kind of horsepower and torque. While we're here, another thing I'll point out that Numar does a little bit different, they have an integrated gutter rail system. It's inside the cap here. Uh, a lot of coaches, when it rains, we're right here by I-25. We get dust all day long. And you'll see some of our used coaches, when that water runs off, it leaves a black streak down the side. But Numar puts their gutter system inside. You don't see it. The water you know, drains out the bottom without leaving that streak. And even the way they build their caps, front and rear caps wrap around. You don't see a, a seam where the wall meets the cap. I think Steve Martin pointed that out yesterday. What that means is fewer leaks. We also have true flush slides. This door is a good example of being completely flush. All of the slide outs fit the same way. They find that there is as much noise in the cab area from wind as there is from the engine and the road. So Numar with their flush uh, slide systems, you don't hear that wind noise. They also have slide lockouts and lock-ins that seal it tight, eliminate a lot of that noise. They insulate these. I think the floor is an R16. Your roof is an R, it's either 19 or 21. Better insulation means a quieter ride, cooler in the summer, warmer in the winter. Let's move around to the driver's side. Like all the big diesels, you're going to get a side radiator. Much better cooling with this. When you're pulling, you know, that, that big 20,000 pound trailer, it's important to keep that engine cool. 
We also have another fill for our depth tank on this side. So as you pull into a fuel station, you don't have to stop and think, oh, what side is the fill on? You can put both your diesel and your DEF in from either side. This is just a little storage compartment, maybe for gloves or items you don't want to bring into the coach. They had room there, might as well use it. Okay, let's move up to the water compartment. And uh, I guess since the slide's out, I'll, I'll get down a little lower. You have all your... Or you have a whole house filter here. You have monitors for your fresh gray and, and black tank. Plus you can fill your 105 gallon uh, water tank from your hose simply by turning the valves to auto fill. Uh, hot and cold water drain point into your water system. Basically a garbage disposal for your chews up the waste and pumps it out so you can actually pump it uphill if you want if you're not on level ground or you know you don't have a drain below you you can pump that uphill one of the things I really is this right here the mana block system they call it this is a manifold for your water system so let's say your shower you know seems to be dripping and you want to get in there and, and replace that washer you can shut it off right here, your hot and cold water, without having to shut off the whole coach. Uh, it's really nice, and you won't find this in many coaches. I know the King Airs have them, the Essex. Uh, I'm not even sure of the London Air, actually. But in a true coach, it allows you to control your faucets, uh, your showers, your toilet individually, which is a great uh, little tool there if you need to work on them. And, of course, you do have a power rewind for your water hose you know if you have to roll that up like a garden hose it can be kind of messy kind of cumbersome it's nice to have that feature right there as we move up to this compartment you'll notice it's a power rewind and anybody that's fought with one of these and this happens to be 50 feet long as opposed to a 35 foot on a lot of coaches. But when you're trying to coil this up and get it into a compartment, your hands get dirty. This can come around and hit you in the head. When it's cold, they're difficult to work with. With a uh, power rewind, it's a simple task. Also in this coat or in this compartment, we have our uh, crossover circuit with a surge protector. You do have inputs if you have, say, a portable uh, satellite uh, that you want to set up out on a tripod. 30 amp power if you want to provide power to your stack or trailer. You can run it down below and, and uh, hook up your trailer. Might be a, a you know six horse living quarters that you're pulling. And then here, the Oasis system. This is the heart and soul of your hot water, your furnace. Uh, there are two common systems, Oasis and Aqua Hot. The Oasis is a cleaner burning, it's a quieter system, and as I pointed out before, there are two electric elements in that Oasis. The ideal thing about that is as the temperatures get colder, you can heat your coach electrically without having to kick on that diesel, where your aqua hot's only going to have a single uh, electric element in there. So it's a little bit more expensive, but in the long run, it's a better system. It's quieter. You don't smell the fumes as much. Again, when you know the difference, Numar goes that extra mile to build a quality coach. Over here you can see we've got the, uh, the pass-through storage compartments and I can also run them out on this side. <coughs> Another thing I'll point out, if you can get a shot of the hinge there, as this goes in, watch this raise up. And the reason they do that, as this more floor, they call it the slide-out, 
comes out, it drops four inches. To have this clearance here, they have a, a special hinge that drops down. Without that hinge, you'd have to have a shorter compartment door to have clearance here. That means you'd have a smaller opening. It'd be harder to get things in there. So, you know, kind of a unique little hinge system that you're not going to find on many coaches. Clearly, these things all cost a little more. But again, when you know the difference, you will look at a Newmar coach and uh, realize, you know, it might be the way to go. We have eight six volt AGM batteries. That is on a convenient uh, slide out tray if you need to work on them. Most of these coaches will be all electric with induction cook surfaces, residential refrigerators. They've eliminated the need for propane. And here we are back to our driver's side front compartment. Again, this is where your switch for your uh, hydraulic uh, generator slide out tray is, but also a lot of your coach electronics and circuits are in here. Uh, if you were to blow a fuse, this red light tells you which fuse it is. Numar uh, supplies you with these spare fuses. They also uh, give you this, which is very convenient when you go to wash that big tall windshield. So. Well, let's move around on the inside. Before we go in, one more thing I want to point out. Look at this slide out. That's a little dust there. See how the stripe follows it around? Most companies are just going to paint this black, but this has the same smooth masterpiece finish that the rest of the coach does. Heavy duty grab handle here with a doorbell. And uh, the number of times I've known people that have fallen coming out of a coach you really learn to appreciate not only this one but there's one inside too to pick you up into the cab well i'll wait for cherish to get in here and i want to demonstrate a few things in the uh, cockpit area Number one, in this driver compartment, it is a keyless entry. And uh, I had to have the accessory switch on to open my generator compartment. But I'm going to go ahead and sh start this. Maybe shut the door. So... Let me cycle here. Okay. Now, I preset these earlier. I have a particular way I like to drive. So as I hit this button, seat's coming up, steering wheel's going down, pedals are coming out to where I want them for me to be uh, comfortable. I also set the number two position for when I want to get out. Steering wheel's going to come up, seat's going to move back, pedals get out of the way. It makes me makes it easier to get in and out. Right now, I kind of, you know, it's not hard, but it's, it's a little more awkward to get out with the wheel in this position. <clears throat> First thing I'm going to show you right now is the Comfort Drive. And I've talked about this before. This is exclusive to Numar. The Comfort Drive is a computerized uh, steering assist. It's constantly sensing the torque on the tires, uh, things like a crown in a road or a strong crosswind, or maybe you're just on a real windy road. You're going to be able to turn this with a single finger. And remember, all the weight is on the tires. We don't have our jacks down. Look how easy this is to turn. And now, with the tires cranked all the way, not even moving, I'm going to let go and it comes right back to the center position. What other coach will do that? On a long drive, you're not steering it both ways and you're not fighting to keep it in the middle of the road. 
It's constantly sensing, you know, uh, the winds, the roads, the other factors to keep your wheel in the middle position and to keep you going straight down your lane. This is a great feature and I am surprised more companies haven't added it. It's actually made by TRW and uh, the Spartan chassis and Freightliners both put it on for Numar and no other coach that I know of. While we're sitting here, I'm going to get everything out of the way. Point out a couple of things over here. Now you do have air leveling and you do have your hydraulic levelers. You can adjust your ride height. Uh, three speed engine brake. Uh, you can dump the air on the tag axle. That's nice when you're maneuvering into a tight spot. You're not scrubbing those wheels as much. Another thing about this is you know, this is how I adjust my tilt. If I want to bring the pedals out to me or if I want to telescope the wheel. It's all done right here. But again, I'll hit number two to get it out of my way. Now if there's another driver, they can program it for number three and and you know if you're six four you probably want it a little different than how I set it up. Okay. Now that we're inside, first of all, I love this cabinetry. This is the ginger glazed cherry, probably one of my favorite colors. It's, you know, not too dark, not too light, you know, kind of a contemporary look, but it's just gorgeous. And it's all solid wood. There is not a wrap style in this coach. Uh, the mother-in-law, or the mother grandmother seat, I guess they call it, actually, uh, or the queen seat, some refer it to it as. It's one and a half times as wide. You could actually get, you know, grandchild here back in the days when we used to drive like that. Uh, it does have footrest. It's got a little work table here. And you also have a monitor here. So I can change the views on my camera. I can navigate. The nice thing about this is the driver doesn't have to worry about navigating or maybe watching the map as you're getting into a town that you're not familiar with. The passenger can do all that right over here. Both the passenger side and the driver side have a, uh, a cell phone charger, little pad. You also have those back by your bed. Let's move on back. And uh, another thing I wanted to demonstrate while we're here, part of the, of the Silverleaf system, the multiplex, which is right here, and Bill Habercorn uh, did a great video on that maybe a couple of weeks ago. I encourage you to go back and look at it. Uh, you know, that's another thing about TransWest in particular. We have a technical advisor for the sales department. Bill Habercorn and I worked together 15, 18 years ago at another dealership. He was a service manager. Great pool of knowledge, but also you have numbers right here you can contact. Uh, this is an Essex specialist, one of the engineers that worked on this. You can call him and one of three people will answer that phone. You also have numbers for Freightliner if you're on a Freightliner chassis. In this case, it's Spartan. And another thing Numar has, Noogle, it's uh, like a Google search for everything about this coach. If you are the kind of guy that wants to see the electrical diagrams, once you register yourself, your VIN number, with Noogle, you can get in there and pull up all the specs on this, all of the uh, technical drawings and things like that. Uh, just a really great tool for, you know, especially the do-it-yourselfers. So I guess I don't need the engine running anymore, so let me shut that off. Now I want to show you a few other things that are pretty cool about this coach. and. And like I say, this is really a true luxury coach. This panel here, which part of my multiplex system, uh, let me go to the home screen. And first off, I'm going to drop the shades. And these are the night shades. You do have the screen too. Now the one up front's on a separate button. 
uh, you know, that the driver can open. But once I get these shades down, I can demonstrate a few other things. I get into my lighting, and uh, these accent lights I love. If you look, they're right behind your uh, valances here, all throughout the coach. So at some point, you know, you might want to turn your ceiling lights all the way up. But, you know, getting late at night, I'm going to watch a little TV. I might dim these. I might turn on a reading light. Uh, oops, there we go. You have uh, your dine out lights. But you can control them all individually right here. But it's not only lights. I'm going to get into the fans right here. Now, I don't have the air conditioning running. We're not plugged in. There's three of the fantastic fans, and I'll turn that one up to high. It's over the kitchen. I've got a couple of windows open, uh, cracked here, and, and it pulls a lot of air through here to help cool it down. So I've got one in the kitchen. I've got one in the master bath. I've actually got them all set on medium right now. Uh, I'll turn this one down. But you can control all that from pretty much any one of these panels. Uh, shades, fans, lighting, uh, my monitor panel. Maybe I want to see where my batteries are, what my fresh black and gray tanks are. So there are several of these throughout the coach that you can control a lot of your systems. So shall I leave the shades down or put them up, Cherry? Whatever up you to you. <laughs> I'll open them up to give us a little bit more light in here. Yeah, where was that? Uh, there we are. And then we do have a televator. So your TV pops up over there. Another thing, uh, while I'm sitting in this chair, once the TV gets up, So these are recliners. Now, this chair and your awnings outside, they actually work on 110 volts. So I had already turned the inverter on beforehand. We're working off battery power, and our inverter uh, you know, inverts the 12 volt to 110 so I can power devices like this. But this is a very comfortable lounge chair. I even like... Uh, you know, down in here you've got a storage compartment with a little sliding tray for remote controls or whatever you're hiding in there. Uh, the cup holders even have some cool lights in them. Chicks dig that, by the way. <laughs> but just a real comfortable spot to sit here and watch TV. Okay, I am going to open those shades now. And the next thing I want to demonstrate to you is the table here. Uh, this is the Villa Extendiflex dinette. I already have that side opened up. Again, this is a 110 uh, power you need for it. But with the push of a button, I'm going to make this dinette big enough for at least six people. If you've got smaller kids, you probably can get more than that. There you go. Now I've got two leafs that uh, you can see I've already put these two in. Those normally store under the bed. But this is a comfortable dinette. A lot of them you seem cramped. Uh, they, they don't sit right, especially if you're a little bit shorter and your legs, you know, or your feet don't seem to reach the ground. You kind of get that pressure behind your knee. This is a great place to sit, you know, and play cards at night, get several people in here, have a nice dinner. Just, just a beautiful uh, piece of furniture. And again, that's what makes this a true luxury coach. Let's get our little extension here. 
So when you're prepping, you have a little uh, tabletop extension. We do have the induction uh, cook surface here. And again, this will actually remove. You can see it's just got a normal 110 plug. I can take it outside, plug it in uh, underneath in one of my storage compartments and use it to cook outside if you like. Yeah. Nice size convection microwave oven. Not many of these coaches are going to have uh, uh, ovens anymore, but they'll get convection microwaves. But in lieu of that, you get a dishwasher with this one. And I love the way the dishwasher and the refrigerator, they put the wood grain panel on the front so it matches the rest of the cabinetry. Uh, these are all what we call soft closed drawers. You can see I've got one of my uh, sink covers stored in here. Let me figure out the jigsaw puzzle here. It goes this way. Gives you your trash bin and again all soft closed drawers here. Even this one you get a little pull out so it's easy to to access the things in the back. And check out this drawer. As small as it is, notice the dovetail joints here. Numar goes the extra mile. Again, when you know the difference, these are things that are going to hold up in time. You got to keep in mind when you're driving down the road, especially out here on I-25, it's, it's like you're in a mild earthquake almost. You're constantly jiggling things. Uh, cheaper cabinetry is going to start to settle or come apart at the corners. These aren't. Every place you look, it's made for customer convenience. Another thing that I pointed out, some of the things that really are important are things you can't see. The air conditioning system in this coach, all of your vents are under these decorative ceiling panels that you can see. And your intake and your output for the air runs closer to the center. So when the slides are in, if you're traveling and you want to turn your generator on and run your AC, it's blowing down the middle of the coach. And a lot of companies, they channel that AC duct right out of the styrofoam they have packed in there. Numar has a seven layer ceiling, uh, huge R values, and there's actual duct work for their air conditioning. So it's a more efficient system. You'll never see that. But, you know, again, when you know the difference between how Brand X is made and how a Numar is made, you can see why these are, uh, Numar is one of the leading manufacturers of uh, luxury motorhomes. Let's move back a little farther. Again, we have the residential style refrigerator with ice maker. This is all electric. They become very efficient. And I just love the panel on the front. An oversized pantry here with pull out drawers. And again, check out the dovetails. Things you wouldn't normally expect to see somewhere like this. Whenever you open these cabinet doors, a light automatically comes on also, which is a nice feature, especially if you're just getting up at night to get some cookies and you don't want to turn the light on. <laughs> Over here we have a half bathroom. And this hinge, I believe this was actually a Numar patent also. The way it opens up, it's designed that way, so when this slide is in, you can open the door all the way. Somebody larger, if it's hinged on the end, might not be able to get it open wide enough to get inside comfortably. Again, you can hear the fan running in there. I haven't got the lights on in there, but I think you can see it well enough. Coming back to the bedroom, you have a king air mattress bed with dual controls. Each side has a cell phone charging spot 
and each side has a plug and a pedestal. So if you do have a sleep machine that you use at night, you've got a convenient place for it. And I like the headboard. Great look to it, but maybe in the morning, I want to let a little light in. So I can open it up, open up my windows. Something you don't see in a lot of coaches. Another thing that I wanted to uh, show you over here, number one, you've got nice dresser. This is where your video components go. Bedside TV, six deep drawers. It's starting to get a little later in the day. You can see a little bit of sun coming in. I've got window awnings throughout, and I'm going to drop this one. All electric. Especially at your dinette table and your couch when, uh, you know, getting late afternoon and maybe the sun's coming from that side, you're sitting down from dinner, it's nice to be able to drop those awnings. Over here we've got another panel. And in this one, I don't know if our floor heat is here, we've got it up on the front panel. Oh, actually it's right here on our, you get a second uh, silver leaf panel. So on the floor, there are three areas, uh, and you've got a heat pad that's in the tile, in the thin set, right below the tile. So unlike your hydronic systems, which have to be all the way under the subfloor, these heat up very fast and cool down much quicker. Uh, you've got 10 settings here. Actually, what these settings are, are a timer. So if I get up and it's springtime, it's not that cold, but I just want a little heat for my for my bare feet, I might set it on two or three. That timer will come on, it heats up, it shuts off. If it's winter and it's ice cold, I might set it up to seven to 10. That'll keep the timer on longer and heat that floor. It's a great way to provide heat for the coach too. Uh, you know, the heat's gonna rise, so you're not working your Oasis system quite as much. Again, this is nice to have a, a monitor panel back here. Also, with this Essex, you get a tablet that you can control most of these features from outside your coach or almost remotely from an iPad-like tablet. Uh, let's move on into the bathroom. Now, this is more like a spa than a bathroom to me. Beautiful double vessel sinks here. Look at the uh, the cabinetry for your drawers. Great storage. You have two plugs here. Here's a little feature that I just noticed it earlier today. Some of the things you don't see when you know the difference. This is a medicine cabinet, but look at the back panel there where that plug is. They actually cedar line their medicine cabinet. How many places do that? And even the carpet on the pad Here's your main closet. Uh, again, you have some great shelves on this side, a safe, a shoe rack that is lined. Plenty of place for the wardrobe. And then, like all the Numar diesels, you do have an option in this coach, which is actually standard, for an egress door. When I open this up, pull the panel off, a ladder will drop down, makes it easy to get out. We've demonstrated this several times on other coaches, so if you'd like to see it, you know, go through the, the Facebook or the YouTube videos and you can see somebody demonstrate that. Uh, in fact, if you need to, you can even get rid of you know, this, this cover here to make it easier for somebody larger to get out. There we go. Your shower, one of the largest of all floor plans, has tile floor and tile sidewalls with beautiful accents in it and a nice teak seat. Another feature that uh, I really like they've started using the last year or two, your water miser. And over here, this light comes on and when this blue light 
turns white, it means the water's warm. So while it's doing that, you're recirculating your water back into the fresh water tank. Rather than standing here with the shower running, uh, waiting for it to heat up, that water is going down into the gray tank. Number one, you're wasting fresh water. Number two, you're filling your gray tank. But with the water miser, it tells you when it's warm, you flip a switch, and then you can either use your, uh, your waterfall shower or there is a little hand sprayer here. Again, they mount grab bars where you need it, especially somebody that's a little bit older, wants to come in and sit down and be comfortable. It's easier to get up. These things don't rattle around. They are solid. Oh, let me see. Oh, another. You've got a washer dryer here. Stackable Whirlpool washer dryer, which you'll find in a lot of units. Again, this is a standard feature. But one of the things I really like that Numar did, this looks like another medicine cabinet, but actually it's access to your plumbing. Now, say I had a leak or for some reason I had to get in here and shut the water off. It's right here. I don't have to panic. I don't have to, you know, go outside and turn a valve. Also, if you notice, this is a 220 volt dryer, just like a residential dryer. One of the cool things about this, let me see, I'm going to turn my ceiling light off and uh, let's see, vanity light off and just go with my mirror light because I like it so much. <laughs> Great accent here. Nice cathedral ceiling gives you more headroom. If you're 6'4", six, 6'5", six, you can still stand in this shower without having to hunch over. Easily take a shower. Well, I think I've covered all the things I wanted to talk about. I could go on a lot more and, uh, you know, you might want to turn into Bill Habercorn's video on the, on the silver leaf. Like I said, the Essex is one of the luxury coaches. The only thing that would be above this in the Numar lineup is a King Air. And tomorrow, AC is going to walk through a King Air for you, so be sure to tune into that. Once again, my name's Mark Love. Uh, you can contact me uh, at my desk. is 303-684-3429. You can email me at mlove. L-O-V-E at transwest.com. I'm surprised how many people ask me to spell my name, but it's pretty simple. And once again, if you have any questions, if maybe you're not uh, comfortable getting out of the house yet and, and still have some concerns, uh, health concerns with the COVID virus, you can contact us and we can do a walk around for you on any coach that you're interested in. So thanks again for tuning in and I uh, hope to see you next time.